Witch hazel is slow growing, but the spicy fragrance of the flowers in hues of red, orange and yellow are worth the wait, along with its healing abilities. In days gone by, the stems of the plant were used for water divining, and witch hazel has also been used for centuries as a tincture, an infusion and an ointment due to its medicinal qualities being a natural healer. In homeopathy, witch hazel is recommended for various skin conditions and ailments such as acne, cold sores, bruises, cuts, scrapes and abrasions, insect bites and stings, poison ivy, eczema, weeping skin, sunburn and other minor burns. Witch hazel is soothing and gentle once applied to the skin and is safe to use on children and young skin as it helps with nappy rash, itching, chicken pox and measles. It also helps with sensitive scalp and shampoos can now be found containing witch hazel. It's a natural anti-inflammatory, helping with inflammation, internal bleeding, blood vessels, facial and varicose veins, nosebleeds, hemorrhaging, hemorrhoids, menstrual problems, wounds, cysts and tumours, diarrhoea and internal parasites, although it's advised to only take it internally under the supervision of a professional. Other studies have found witch hazel to be a great help with eye strain and eye infections and pain after childbirth. However, studies and research are limited, unfortunately. This needs to be stepped up since we've only just scratched the surface with the healing capabilities of this wonderful plant. With a deep dive, just imagine what we may discover. <laughs>